My name is Sonia Sosa, and I come from Tallinn University in Estonia. I would like to thank you for watching this presentation. Hope you enjoy. The work that I will present here is about the use of trust in computing and focus on using trust as a communicated mediator to facilitate the uptake of technology. I will start to describe the work context, the problem, and research approach. Then I describe the results and contributions, and the finish with final considerations and some hints for future work. Overall, this work intends to contribute to the sustainability of human computer interaction (HEI) by looking for ways for a way of using trust in computing as a key value to mediate and leverage system acceptance and appropriation. Why focus on trust as a key value to mediate and leverage systems, you may ask. This is because trust, according to Myers, represents the willingness of a party to be vulnerable to the actions of another, disregard less of our ability to monitor or control. Nowadays, we find in technology many examples of applications that require humans to be vulnerable to their actions without being able to understand their actions or control them. More, according to Lee, uh, as much as a human relationship uh, largely depends on mutual trust, the quality, depth, and duration of use of a technology or a service are also significantly affected by users' trust in it. The problem of this investigation is therefore focused on demystify the concepts of trust as a way to encourage adoption and appropriation of technology. That look um, for, for tools that facilitate the application of trust as a subjective dimension of user experience. More, what makes us to address the problem from a user perspective is our argument that users' trust in certain applications can be a key factor for the quality of interaction between humans and computers or machines. Also, the fact that despite trust in the concept following study in social science like sociology, psychology, uh, philosophy or economics, in computer science, this has been a topic more explored from an operational point of view rather than from a social technical perspective. Here, we find two challenges. Those who approach the topic from a social technical perspective tend to adopt theoretical models that describe the process of interpersonal interactions with trust. Those who approach the topic from an operational perspective tend to simplify the process of interaction with trust using concepts that are related with trust but that not necessarily describe the interactive process reliably. The latest challenge of digital transformations have imposed new visions of the role of trust in supporting interactions, which requires new approach to explore the interaction between men and machines. For example, when trying to understand what are the techniques adopted to analyze trust behaviors with technology, we find that in literature, the most common techniques for studying trust can be described in several ways. The more experimental using games and models of behavior to measure and describe and modify patterns and attributes of confidence or trust, as those who choose to develop psychometric instruments that help to measure how trust is perceived, or those who opt to, to create normative guidance to help regulate design and develop, develop practice for certain, uh, for certain technologies. We also find documents of a more conceptual nature that help us to better understand the theory of trust. Those who choose to, to approach the topic using mathematical models, as I mentioned, tend to simplify the interaction process with trust using associated concepts like reputation, credibility, um, explainable AI, and, and so on. Those models, despite helping to make the process more transparent, fail to oversimplify the interaction process, which means that they are only applicable in very specific contexts or are only tested in laboratory conditions, what makes it difficult to reuse them in real contexts context and more in any more generic applications with the aggravation factor that if they are poorly perceived they might not be as effective and eventually might contribute to create effects contrary to those desired because out of content communication or interactions can lead to misinterpretations of the process Psychometric surveys, on the other hand, can be more easily applied and are more centered in, on users and in given context of use, but they fail to measure trust in real time. Also, some of the scales used should not be directly transferable from social science, as they measure trust in an interpersonal context where technology is not the mediated factor or it it might not reflect current technologies, which makes them uh, have limited degree of reliability and predictability. 
more trust while being part of a quality of use software systems according to user standards so far much of the effort has, has gone into measuring usability quality focus on more pragmatic attributes like efficiency or effectiveness or more ironic traits like usefulness or emotion hence the reason for our work to help measure the quality of use in which trust is part of one of, of the attributes of usability satisfaction more with within the process of measuring quality of use, we focus more on measuring physical physical behaviors or measuring users' perceptions. Hence, our work focuses on measure the perceived quality of use, how he or she perceives the uncertainty um, of the relationship, and can and how this can directly affect the user's belief in the trustee system's actions, like perceptions of confidence, perceptions of risk, perceptions of benevolence, and therefore how this affects their will to act and relate and be committed to the process. To answer this challenge, this research includes three research problems and questions. First, the need to produce novel uh, HEI approaches that use trust as a facilitator for the uptake or appropriations of current technologies. Second, fight the tendency to design vulnerable interactions that lead to further breach of trust, both real and perceived. Third, avoid possible trust gaps and misinterpretations in distributed and decentralized systems, adoption and appropriation. Those problems were translated in three main research questions. Research question one, can the human computer trust scale be used to define trust behaviors across different cultures? Research question two, how can the set of trust behaviors across different cultures be useful to support human computer interactions? Research question three, how to leverage users trust in the system? We adopt the following research process. The focus of the first phase of the research was to establish the research problem. Here we try to understand how the topic is approached in the sub-area of HEI and what, what is the nature of its definitions. Also, I like some associated challenge. In phase two of the work, we explore trust bias in technology across gender, generation, and cultural diverse, diverse countries. In phase three, we focus on following a human synthesis design process to frame trust as a user quality in system design to help non-experts to, to gather insights on how to calibrate human trust computer interactions. Finally, in phase four, of this research process, we seek assessing the effectiveness and usefulness of the proposed mechanisms. Results. The results of phase one, whose aims was to identify current trust in technology challenge, indicate that we should further explore how current digital transformation challenge affects users' trust in technology. Uh, we also should relate the existing conceptualizations of trust from social science with current conceptualizations of trustworthy AI. We also lo should look for new HEI approaches to support users' trust in HEI and clarify the different uses and applications of trust in computer science for measuring and perceive quality of use. Distinguish as well vari the various uh, definitions of user trust and its associated terms. The results of phase one of this work helped to write four publications, two scientific uh, journals, and two publishing conference proceedings in the area of HEI. In phase two, uh, we run a, a couple of cross-cultural studies to, stu to understand how trust affects technology use. We use the human computer scale as a research lens. The human computer trust scale is a psychometric instrument that was validated and tested in six distinctive technology applications, and that now we are studying its fitness to measure trust across culture. The results from uh, from this data help us to understand that um, trust can be shaped by users' perceptions on system technical robustness and principles of use. Also, uh, we found out that in this sample, women and individuals belonging to minority groups have higher trust in facial recognition systems. Might be because they, they hope that the system helped them to improve existing vulnerabilities that are current, they are currently facing. Within this uh, phase two, we run two more studies. The second study was car carried out in Brazil. The third study was carried out in Singapore. These results are currently in, uh, being analyzed. In this phase, we also have to aim to run another study in Malaysia, scheduled for next month, September 2023, uh, and one European country. Once the data collection of this first study is in, we aim to do a cross-cultural anal analysis based on the, on the consolidated data and validate the instrument across culture and also explore possible cross-cultural patterns.
The results of phase two uh, helped to, to produce two conference articles, one in Interact 2023 and another one in Africa 2023. In phase three, we are running a set of exploratory studies. So far, we run two that are currently being analyzed and synthesized. Those contemplate two rounds of mixed method studies associated with high risk domain like cryptocurrency C and auto autonomous vehicles. The main goal of these uh, exploratory studies is to develop a set of risks to design technologies that are considered more trustworthy by their users. Based on preliminary results, four factors influencing individuals' perceptions in technology trustworthiness. Those are usability, credibility, risk motivation, and reliability. Furthermore, it was discovered that the use of, uh, le user level of expertise, expert, novice, and user, affects the perceptions of technology trustworthiness and supports the notion that the social technical approach should guide the trust design. The results of phase three contributed for one conference publication in Human Computer Interaction International 2023. In phase four of this research, as I already mentioned, we aim to propose a framework to guide non-experts to unlock the full potential of user trust in AI design. The results of this process derive from a data triangulation of findings from three literature reviews, demystifying some misconceptions of user trust in computer science and high, the, the AI discourse, and three case studies conducted to assess the effectiveness of, of a, a psychometric scale, human computer strength, uh, scale, in mapping potential user trust breakdowns and concerns. This process aimed to fight against the tendency to design technical centers for vulnerable interactions, which can eventually lead to additional real and perceived bridges of trust. The proposed framework can be used to guide systems designs, designers on how to map the, and define users' trust and social, technical, and organizational needs and characteristics of AI system design. It can also guide AI systems designers on how to develop a prototype and operationalize a solution that meets users' trust requirements. The proposed framework can be used to guide systems designs on how to map and define user stress, the social, technical, and organizational needs, including characteristics of AI system design. It can also guide AI systems designs on how to develop a prototype and operationalize a solution that meets user stress requirements. And it ends by providing some user research tools that can be employed to measure user stress intentions and behaviors towards the proposed solution. The results are published in e e EEEE Computer Magazine, published uh, in a special issue called Trustworthy AI. In all, we see the following benefits. Firstly, in contributing towards considering the importance of user trust behaviors in foster positive user experience and on calibrated trustworthy AI use and applications. Namely, our effort so far was towards exploring a new ways of helping technologies to design artifacts that provide interactive experience with confidence. In addition, to be satisfactory, reliable, efficient, accessible, and ubiquitous. Secondly, our contribute to this issue was to find novel HGI approaches to reflect in and not use trust as a driving element of more sustainable technological interaction experiences. All this is especially important in applications that depend on massive data analysis machine to make uh, risk decisions for the users, such as image analysis systems, special recognition, speech, speech recognition, uh, diagnostic systems, uh, robots, autonomous cars, and so on. I will end by listing some of the contributions of this work. Theoretical contributions help to understand how trust is approached in HEI area, especially concepts, metrics, and challenge. Practical contributions help to understand how, ca how we can measure user experience with, with trust and encourage more sustainable interactions. As I mentioned, there were several scientific publications that contribute to this work. Since 2021, in total, seven articles were published in scientific journals and three in conference proceedings. And in uh, the past year, uh, some of our contributions uh, and publications included two journal articles on a systematic literature review of user trust in AI, and the prospective article discussion this, discussing the challenge and trends of user trust discourse in AI popularity. Two conferences are designating the factors influencing trust assessment in technology in Mozambique, one conference article on new risks to design trustworthy technologies, and a journal article illustrating a social technical approach to trust uh, from a human-centered design perspective. Thank you.